I figured out how to do a reverse head flush on this print head here. And the ink is flowing there pretty good. I just don't know why it's not clearing up as good as I want it to. So we're gonna use a clogging solution to declog the print head if that's the case, because that's what it looks like. And then uh, I'll show you the results after that. And then the camera flipped around so I can see what I'm doing here, show you guys. So recording right now, I have this long screwdriver here that I got from Harbor Freight and I have a magnetic one. This one fits the screws better because it's a little, like, a, like a fatter Phillips, but it's not magnetized. It was at one point, but I feel like they just don't do a good job. So we're just gonna unscrew one, two, three, four, five, six, six screws. Boom. 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 Okay. Gold. Gold. Boom. Just like that. So that came off. It's got like this little plastic film around this. You're just gonna go ahead and take this piece off. When there's this little latch right here that's got like this little clip. I thought I broke this at first. When I first took this piece off, don't worry, just be careful. And be careful with your strips here, guys. These are wires in this little thing, microscopic wires in here. And you don't wanna mess this up. So just be extra careful. If you don't have this plastic piece, chances are you probably have an older printer. So let's do that. Let's get this off here. They're literally just kind of, kind of killing it off. Boom. And it is still in there. Here's this piece right here that I was telling you about. Lift that up. And I was able to kind of just wedge it out like that. It's not broken. Here it is right here. You can see it, sorry. Okay. And then, I want to say there's screws down there that we have to unscrew. Like that one down there, that one down there. It's kind of hard to see this guy right here. Okay, that one right there. They're darker screws right here, this one right here. And then there's one tucked right there. That's kind of a pain in the ass to get. That's where these magnet ones come in clutch, okay? So let's go ahead and unscrew those guys. I probably should just use the magnet screw driver and just be extra careful. See, they're like uh, this uh, black color here. If you can see that, sorry. And it's not a rush. Just be careful. And go slow. <clears throat> because you don't want to damage, you don't want to damage these lines and you don't want to damage that strip, man. That's gonna cost some money. I'm gonna use my phone light so I can see. Okay. They're in there. Here we go. Slowly, there it is. All right. The camera angle is probably not the best, but I'm doing what I can to make sure I get a good visual for you guys. 
So we got that off now, or got the screws out. Let us try to really get this guy out of here now, which is being a pain in my ass. There we go. And just be extra, extra careful. I fashioned this piece here. I heated it up with a, a lighter and I fit it around the, the mountaintop mounds of the print head. And I was able to get a nice fit and shoot the solution through. So you're gonna see me do that right now. I'm using this DTG Magic print head clog cleaner. Let's get some of this solution and it'll push through. So it seems to be spraying pretty nice on that red there, you know. Okay. That's a good spray. You want, you don't want it just dripping, okay guys? When you're doing a when you're doing a head clean, uh, you're doing a reverse flush, you want that solution dripping, right? But then when you give it a good press, it should spray out. Spray. And it's almost like a consistent waterfall mist. And to be honest, this clog cleaner, it just smells like Windex. Windex is, you know, very good. It has ammonia in it. I got my heartache medication. Okay. I'm spraying a lot through because I really want that to go through as good as I can get it. So these are, these are spraying out really good. It doesn't seem like, I'm not getting any pushback from this, uh, this print head. Nice consistent waterfall. My whites are not as clogged. My blue and my, and my magenta, my blue and my magenta are really nice. That black, was just not unclogging like how I wanted it to and I don't know why. So we're just gonna keep pushing solution through here. All right, let's get this back on. Okay, we're on there, good. Okay, so we're just gonna put this thing back together.
Here we go again. Cleaning all nozzles and we're gonna execute a light clean. Alright, so you're gonna see me zoomed in, nozzle check, nervous as shit because I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's see, real time, all real time. Zoom back out, replace the light right there. It looks so much better. Dude, come on. Yeah, we got some breakage still, but I mean, look at that. Hell yeah, the black though. But and the black is doing much better because before it was looking way, way here. But this is cool, I'll take this, that's great. Oh yeah. So we are here with the nozzle checks, as you can tell right there. That looks much better. There's still a big breakage right there in the black, but the whites are doing really good. The cyan only two breaks, magenta only one break. I mean, it's a really good, like, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm happy. I don't even know what to say, I'm just so happy. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a heavy clean again. I'm gonna do a medium clean, and then I'm gonna do a light clean again, because we still have some breakage in that black. I wanna try to tighten that up. Um, but I'm just gonna, because I have the ink, I'm just gonna just do all the nozzles. So let's keep going. Look at that. That came out really, let's turn up the brightness. That came out really, really good. No banding, just a great overall print. It's printing phenomenal. So I'll take that. I just have to make sure I clean it. I clean it regularly, like I've been doing. It just sat for a week while I was getting surgery. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please put it in the description down below. Give me a like, follow, and share it to friends, family. You know, I do appreciate it. I keep looking this way because my screen's over here. But yeah, this light adds so much value to the video. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching if you made it this far. And more videos to come soon. If you need to buy some DTG or anything in that matter, let me know. Uh, if there's anything you want to see, let me know as well. And we'll make sure we get it out to you guys. All right, peace.